Ladies and gentlemen, Aditya Sharma, who lost his father 11 years ago today, says the world is all about love. What is love? Is it another word for empathy? Is it the opposite of indifference? Is it the absence of fear? Or is love the enemy of hate? And whatever it is, can love be as powerful a motivator as anger? Events such as 2611 make us angry because when innocents die, it seems that hate is defeating love. We have, for four years now, been inviting you to the Gateway of India to evaluate your view on the power of love and the power of hate, and to provoke a dialogue between the humanist and the extremist inside each one of us. You see, in any attack, whether foreign, like 2611, or homegrown, like the ones in Colombo and Christchurch, the root cause is a twisted mind radicalized with, with extremist thought. Today, on the 11th anniversary of 2611 and the 150th year of Gandhi, we'd consider our endeavor successful if we could get you to pause and think about just how geared our world is to promote extremism and if there's anything we can do about it. Our media has moved from broadcasting to narrowcasting, where channels are dedicated to audiences based on ideologies rather than demographics. And digital media creates filter bubbles of content and virtual communities of like-minded opinions. And as Howard's Cass Sunstein has proven, if we keep surrounding ourselves with people of similar worldviews, we become more extreme. Which is why every time I watch these interviews of over 100 survivors, I am amazed how these individuals, who have suffered such unimaginable loss, have channelized the hatred and destruction, choosing to build something of value to this society. This positive attitude can only be achieved by love. Now, I'm not for a moment suggesting that there is no need for a deterrent. Even our gods are depicted with their respective weapons of choice. So we must defend ourselves, especially given our neighborhood. And while we must continue, and while we must continuously make our armed forces smarter and stealthier, we mustn't let the ability to attack prevent love from being our first line of defense. Because history has shown that one without the other is unlikely to be successful. Robert Grenier, the CIA's former station chief in Pakistan, said that the United States drone program created more terrorists than it eliminated. Perhaps Maharashtra's ATS understood this when it started its counter-radicalization initiative, a concentrated effort aimed at transforming extremist youth through patient counseling and training. The program today boasts of 120 young minds successfully de-radicalized without firing one bullet. If, on the other hand, our society turns more extreme, and if we keep finding it harder to be friends with the people we disagree with, then I think we are disrespecting the sacrifice of all those brave men and women who put their lives at stake to keep our country safe. I'd like to thank many people for being supporters of the entire endeavor. Sri Rajnath Singh, we all know how rare it is to see him at any event, much less to travel for one. Uh, Sri Nitin Gadkari, few people in the country understand the pulse of our city and our state like he does. Sri Amita Bachchan, we are blessed to be working with the living legend for the past three years. There can never be a more powerful emissary of our message than him. My gratitude to Sri Neeraj Bajaj and the entire Bajaj group. Their association with Gandhi makes them a natural fit for this event. Thank you to my friend Uday Shankar and the fantastic team at Star India for creating a track record of following through on their Nayi Soch. Thank you to all our partners, many of whom are here with us today. Thank you to the Adani group, Pranab Adani is with us today. 
to Mr. Chandrasekharan and to Indian Hotels for always going out of their way to see this project through. We continue to be inspired by the dedication Taj employees showed 11 years ago. Thank you to Shri Devendra Fadnavis and to my friend Praveen Pardeshi, to Shri Ajoy Mehta, Mr. Sanjay Bhatia and the Mumbai Port Trust, and the Archaeological Survey of India. My deepest gratitude to Vice Admiral Ajit Kumar and the Western Naval Command, who have gone out of their way to make this event so special for us. Thank you to Maharashtra DGP Subodh Jaiswal, Commissioner of Police, Sanjay Barve, and to my friend for years, Devin Bharti, who believe so passionately in this. There is no way this event could have happened without the immense support of Sabas Joseph and the Viscraft team, and to the show director, Anand Tiwari, and his entire Still and Still Media Collective. And above all, ladies and gentlemen, my most heartfelt gratitude to those of you who picked up the pieces of your hearts that shattered 11 years ago and let us in. We understand the enormous responsibility we have when we point a camera at you and ask you to share your life's most vulnerable moments. We ask because it's important, because only you can put into reality what Martin Luther King Jr. once said. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Your stories prove that even though there are few misguided, foolish individuals who think that they can decide how we should die, they must know that they cannot decide how we will live. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my father, Vey Goenka, very warm welcome. Thank you.